Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and and we have a thrift haul for you. I went to a few yard sales and a half price rummage sale today. Also ran into somebody who, uh, you know, I have chatted through YouTube and is local, so that was neat. I had a feeling in my head as I was driving up that I would run into her, and I did. Um, so that's always fun and a great start to the day. So I think what I'm gonna do is share um, what I purchased in different categories. So first, I'm gonna do what I got for the kids. So for my son, I got this Old Navy shirt. It was 75 cents, and it's a nice summer shirt to wear to church. For 50 cents, I got this Halloween Gap shirt for my son. And then for 50 cents, I got him this t-shirt. So those are yard sale prices, better than yard sale prices, because sometimes yard sales want a dollar for things. So that was nice to find that at the rummage sale. And for my daughter, uh, we cleaned out her drawers last night to see what she needed the next size of, and she could definitely use socks. So these socks were a quarter, and they're in excellent condition. So we will wash those up and add them to that drawer. There uh, were two books, they were 50 cents each. I liked the illustrations. Uh, this one really reminded me of the book that my daughter just read, which was called? The Invention of Hugo Cabaret. The Invention of Hugo Cabaret. And the people at the sale said that these books were funny. Uh, Horton's Miraculous Mechanisms by Lisa Evans. And the illustrator looks very similar to a couple other book series um, that I've picked up for the kids and Horton's Incredible Illusions. So those are for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, there was uh, the Breakfast Club DVD for 50 cents at a yard sale. Okay. And I got my daughter some ribbon. I'm trying to pick up some art supplies specifically for her that she can keep in her room and be creative with. So at the rummage sale, it was 50% uh, percent off. So this was 12 cents and it's this beautiful rose ribbon that's for her. A long time ago thrifting, I had picked up some very thin black ribbon and we're pretty much out. So when I saw this for a quarter and we love to use that thin black ribbon, I knew that we would, um, get a lot of use out of that. I found a few clothing pieces and a pair of shoes. I got these soft shoes. I was looking for a pair of black or brown sandals. I'd actually like both. So I found a pair of brown in my size and at half price, they were only $3. I mean, they barely look used. I am very excited to have those. And for the clothing pieces, great prices. This little um, one piece, what do you call them rompers? I don't know, is from um, Madewell. I just love the Madewell brand. And um, it's navy blue. It was $3.25. It has these adjustable crisscross straps in the back and on the side, some um, elastic smocking. And so I was looking at stuff like this at Marshall's, but at Marshall's, you can't try stuff on in the dressing room. And they were about $30, so I just didn't want to uh, go for it in case it wasn't my style. But for $3.25, you can see they're nice, like, wide leg. I am very excited for this. It just seems like something so casual and perfect for summer. I also found a um, shirt by Van Heusen and it has um, a mix of materials. It has lace, and the front is silky, but I did look, it just said that it was polyester, and the back is cotton. So I really like things that are simple, but have a mix and match of textures. Then there is this cotton and silk made well top again. Um, so I was looking at the label, and because I had just seen the made well romper, I said, maybe it's the same. And I tried to pick this thing off, but I think these things are heat set. So you know what I did? I flipped it over and I said, oh, there we go. It is made well. I just really love their style and their brand, but not the price of them all. So this has the cotton and it's thicker, but then it has the, um, like the blouse material and the floaty sleeves. And when I looked at the label, it said that this is silk. Um, oh, so I paid... 
I want to say uh, $2 for the white top. This was $3. The romper was like $3.25. And then I got a J. Crew top for the fall, um, three quarter length sleeves that I love. And I believe that this was like $2.25, something like that. The highest, the highest priced tag was $6.50 and then everything was half off. So, I mean, I cannot beat those prices for these brands and the nice quality and um, a lot of stuff that I could wear to work. Okay. So, so I put the stuff in the laundry to be washed, but I had to try this on and I cannot even tell you how comfortable it is. And I'm trying to show you that it is the absolute perfect length for me and it has pockets. Can I live in this? Can I sleep in this? Can I swim in this? The main thing that I look for when I look for old linens is monograms. And uh, there's some pretty little placemats that are definitely hand done and older, but I love the initials. That's my favorite motif. So it's so exciting when you flip something over and you definitely see a hand done older piece with my initial. So there's nobody here. There's like one person downstairs. So here's one that has an initial, and I just picked up a mint um, green one at the hospital sale, which I do have uh, an appointment tomorrow at to shop again, and it's half price because I'm a donor. So I'm very excited, I think even some of the expensive jewelry. So it says the set is $7, so I'm gonna dig and see if there's more in here. And they used to have the linens downstairs, but now it's up in its own room. But sometimes when it's busy in here, it's just really hard to dig through all of these. So like I said, since there's only one person downstairs, it is easy. Beautiful. There are these round pieces that have these spots in the center. I think that you could add a monogram to if you wanted to. Um, but they're $8 for like 10 of them. That would be so pretty in between dishes. You know how they have sometimes felt or, or paper so they don't scratch? So for less than a dollar a piece, you could have gorgeous pieces to put in between your dishes. You have these beautiful napkins. And then this piece, I know it's hard to see. I think that's called cruel work. There's a huge stain in it. And then these gorgeous details. Look how cute these are. So what did I purchase from all of those bins? I found this beautiful older hand embroidered napkin that has an S which is perfect for this house. And it is a pattern that I have never seen on a napkin before. It is not a full circle. It's like a, a U or a, a horseshoe. I'm trying to get it in the right light of dots. So that was really neat to find that. And it just has that almost like Victorian look to it with, with uh, the irregular stitching, but so nicely done, so tight in there. And there were two. So very happy to have found those because it doesn't seem like there's been more linens added at the thrift store, but I didn't notice those before. And then there was uh, a single mint napkin, but I found some mint napkins last weekend, so we can start to get a little collection of mint ones together. And uh, I was talking to someone recently about how they said that their um, goal was to find every letter of the alphabet on a handkerchief or a napkin. So this says HMH, and I think that it is hand done, but just very well done. And then I have a few things that don't have monograms, but I just think they're so beautiful. So this little, I'm gonna call it a hand towel. I loved the bottom border and the fabric is so silky. And isn't that so delicate and beautiful? Just those little knots. And like I said, the fabric, it's not silk, but oh, is it soft and fine. Then I found a few cocktail napkins. 
<laughs> that have roosters on them. They look like they have never been used. And I love that border. And I have a few that I think these will pair nicely with. These were from my neighbor's estate and they were never used. And funny enough, it has this little rooster there. So I wonder if this is the same company and they use their logo, I'm not sure, but I think that the colors work well. And that's why I picked those up. And the last piece is this handkerchief embroidered with the letter E. And I picked up a bunch of these from the same store that had this initial. So this must have been one that got separated from the bunch. And this is the only one that still has the sticker on it. And what does that say? Maria Rass quality made in, I pronounce it Madeira. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I know that that is quality when it comes to lace and embroidery and linens. So for this piece, um, I'm not gonna craft with this one just cause it's the only one that I have that actually has the label on it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing those finds and I have a lot more um, crafting and uh, frames and artwork to share, but I don't want the video to get too long. So stay tuned for part two.